Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel. So in today video, we are going to discuss about SSL and TLS protocol. What's the purpose of SSL and TLS and why we should use it. So let's start. So before moving to SSL and TLS part, first we will see how basically data travel from source to destination over the internet without SSL. So as you can see here, uh, one side of internet I have a client computer and another side of internet I have a web servers. So basically this client uh, want to request some data over the internet from this particular web servers. So how basically data will travel here. So you can see internet we have a different or a many type of ISP providers. For example, here with this blue one we have AT&T, this is the ISP provider, like internet service provider. And the green one we have Airtel, this is also internet service provider. So this data will travel with all the wired network. And if someone is uh, basically th the third party can also see what data we are flowing because we don't have any control over data once uh, the data entered over the internet. So to secure basically this data which we send from client to server, we generally use SSL and TLS protocol. So let's see. So internet has many routers owned by different ISP providers. So these are the different ISP providers which are basically interconnected. These routers are maintained by ISP providers. So like AT&T routers will be maintained by AT&T and Airtel routers will be maintained by Airtel itself. And they are all they are, all are interconnected. When you uh, request or send data from one side to another of internet, it travels through the different router and you don't have control over data. So as soon as you uh, request for data over internet, it will go through a different or many ISP providers and you don't have any control is how your data basically traveling. Right? Suppose first it will go to AT&T, then Airtel, then might be Geo. So various through through various routers, basically your data travel to the web servers to get the response. So this basically is not a secured way because we, we, we don't know like somebody is sitting on AT&T or somebody is sitting in Airtel or somebody sitting in another ISP provider. They can also see your data, what you are requesting. So basically it's not a secured. So most common data transferred over net is a websites. So generally, uh, like in most, most common words, basically we uh, data transferred over the website, like for example, a uh, Facebook. So we are sending any data or like we are texting and one of uh, one of our friend, then the data will transfer through the multiple ISP providers. And we are not sure basically how data is secure or not. And, and also like uh, the third person can also see our data, what we are requesting or what we are sending. So to avoid or to overcome those issues, we generally use SSL and TLS protocols. So overview of SSL and TLS. So SSL and TLS create a secure tunnel across the internet. So if you can see in this particular image, from the, this uh, internet itself, we have created a secure tunnel. Sometimes we also call it a VPN, virtual private networks. So it's a direct secure tunnel. So nobody can see our data if when we request the data over the internet. So SSL uh, created by Netscape in 1994. So you so like it's more confusing terms like SSL and TLS, but both both are the same things. So SSL initially created by Netscape in 1994 and transport uh, transport layer security TLS is basically a SSL maintenance handed to the IETF Internet Engineering Task Force in 1999 and IETF renamed SSL to TLS. So basically the SSL and TLS both are the same name, same things but different name. Earlier we used to call it SSL now uh, after handed over to IT, IETF they renamed it to SSL to TLS. So HTTP is just a HTTP protocol with, with data encryption using SSL. So like whatever the data we are sending uh, through HTTP, so HTTP is called like hypertext transfer protocol and HTTP is the extension of HTTP with SSL. 
so i hope you understand like what's the purpose of ssl so it's basically a, to create a secure tunnel so if you can see this tunnel basically this is not a actual tunnel it we are using this tunnel just for the virtualization purpose like for illustration purpose like we can uh, understand okay like this bay basically we are sending our data through this tunnel but actually this is not a tunnel the data will itself transfer through the this wired network but in a secured way so how do ssl and tls protect your data so data sent across a wire wide network can be captured by anyone in the middle if you can see here that this is the client and this is the server so this client is sending some file to this particular server or requesting some files from this server and this is a third party person who can also see your data so the purpose of ssl and tls is to protect the data in three ways so first one is confidentiality so what it does it mean data is only accessible by the client and servers so whatever the data this client will send to the servers the, the this data will be accessible only by the client and server only no other third party can see or modify your data this is called a encryption next it's come to integrity so data is not modified between the client and servers so we for this purpose we use hashing so basically whenever you send any data suppose you have sent one file and the middleman uh, modify that file before reaching to server and then it uh, send the modified file to the server so basically the server receive the invalid file so to provide the integrity we use the hashing so the third party or the any person who's sitting there in middle they can't see or modify your data next authentication so client and server are indent indeed who they say and they are so these basically we use the pki public key infrastructure public key sorry identity so for that purpose we use public key or private key to authenticate your data like on the, these keys will have only client and servers the third party will not have the key so they can't see or or modify your data so these are the three things basically ssl used to protect your data we will see in next video about hashing and encryption and pki things so that's over we am giving here on this particular video next we have a key players of ssl so there are three key players involved in complete entire ssl or tls ecosystem so first is client second is server and third is server authority so the client entity initiate the tls handshake so basically client initiate the request to the server so it's initi initiating the tls handshake so it could be a through web browser or any phone or any internet of things you can use to initiate the tls handshake with the server and the server basically initiate uh, server basically receive the tls handshake like it could be a web server is server any any kind of uh, server which basically authenticate the request which is raised by the client and it is not mandatory uh, the op this client must authenticate the request but the server is always authenticate the request which you send over it so if you see here this is a just a client system it could be a laptop computer phone anything it could be internet of things and the server basically we have a web server with some kind of certificates so these certificates basically is authenticate the particular request which is raised by the client but doesn't matter the client should also authenticate the request but server is always authenticate the request which is raised by the client next we have a certificate authority so governing entity that issue the certificate so basically certificate authority is the one who issue the certificate which we used for the authentication purpose and trusted by the client and servers so this whatever the certificate is ca is uh, issuing that certificate is for the is basically trusted by the client and server both provides trust anchor if we trust the ca we trust what ca trust what it does mean so whatever the ca is issuing the certificate to the client or server if we are trusting this particular the particular ca then we also trust the certificate which is issued by the ca so there are basically five organization which basically secure 98% of internet in the world so the first one is ident trust which is basically a secure 51.9% of internet 
नेक्स्ट वी है डीजी शर्ट सो दिस बेसिकली सिक्योर 19.4 परसेंट ऑफ इंटरनेट देन वी है स्केटको दिस बेसिकली सिक्योर और 17.5 परसेंट ऑफ इंटरनेट देन वी हैव अ गो रेडी विच बेसिकली सिक्योर और 6.9 परसेंट ऑफ इंटरनेट and the third we have a global sign which secure 2.9% there are many other ca also so i have i have taken a top most which basically secure most of the internet so thank you so much see you in next video like we will see what is encryption and how to do hashing so we will see in a next video so thank you so much see you in next video